hello. I thought I'd, um, excuse me, while I just um, wind my producer here. Um, I thought I'd come out into the garden today to talk about retirement and doing voiceovers because I know some people think uh, they get to a certain age and they they can't uh, they, they can't do voiceovers they're just they're too old to do to do it but I think retirement is probably the time one of the times um, when you've got a huge amount of time uh, you've got a you know, bags of time on your hands usually unless you're looking after grandkids or whatever but you've got more time than you had when you were working uh, full-time and time is a great luxury and it's something you can never get back of course so uh, it's one of the things you need as a, as a voiceover artist but I think it's it's worth thinking about doing voiceovers in your retirement um, because it's a it, it's a, it's something that you know you could certainly consider. But with the rise of remote working, it's the perfect opportunity. You'll need a microphone, obviously. Don't record in the garden, as you can probably hear. I I live close to a, a road, or my back garden um, actually is adjacent to a road which can be quite quite busy at times. I've got an airport not too far from me, so I've got aircraft going over. So I wouldn't, obviously I wouldn't record out here, but recording in a quiet room, like a bedroom and so on, would, would be absolutely perfect. I think it's become easier as well to access that work. Um, we've got various platforms you can use, Fiverr, Voice123, Upwork, Audible, Audible have got something called ACX, so you can do audiobook work. It's all sorts of things, you know, commercials, video games, and you've got that maturity in your voice, you know. And like I say, you've got that, you've got that time to to do the voiceovers. One of the things I, I think you should start out doing is look at getting some training, whether that's using online training or just doing it yourself through looking at YouTube videos and doing a bit of research and so on. Or indeed, uh, booking a course with a with a, a coach um, and just spending some time with them, either on Zoom or actually in person in the studio, and get to get to know your voice, get to learn how to use your voice, use your voice properly, and, and in a voiceover context. As with any freelancer work, it's going to require you to be dedicated and tenacious, and it's not going to fall into your lap. You've got to spend time. You've got to spend time and effort doing it, but you know it—it it can be a really worthwhile exercise.